just, I was talking, I kept looking at Jason, like yeah. he puts, Tomlin puts on a clinic mm -hmm. on how to just handle those questions because, you know, people could be easily picking it, like, mm -hmm. well, trying to create a controversy yeah. already with, and like he just shuts it down, is definitive, uh, the, the best things out of there, oozes talent and potential when he was talking about Justin Fields, still said there's a lot of meat left on that bone, which I looked at you and I said, God, he's still so young. It almost sounds like you're talking about Justin Fields, like mm -hmm. he's been around forever. And then, and then also Russell Wilson, uh, pole position. And that's beneficial to the team to have this guy in the offseason in pole position as, as your starter right now in Pittsburgh. What did you think of what Mike Tomlin had to say? I, I thought that part was interesting. He said the synergy of the offseason, having him there because the 12-month calendar, him being a vet. I looked at it as he has these two quarterbacks. You have one that is a seasoned vet. You put him, you let him go first. But every opportunity is going to be given possibly to Justin Fields to take that spot if he outplays Russell Wilson. But the bigger <laughs> picture, you look at Pittsburgh's quarterback room last year, and he mentioned Kenny Pickett wanted a change of scenery. To what they're walking into this year with Justin Fields and Russell Wilson, I feel like they're light years ahead of where they were last year in their quarterback one with Trubisky and Mason Rudolph. Yes, Rudolph played well, get them in the playoffs, but I look at this is going to be a fun arrangement of these two guys. Similar playing styles. We heard Justin Fields say he kind of looked at his game as Russell Wilson as he got into the NFL. So I... I truly believe, though, Justin Fields is going to become the starter of that mm. team. What a room that is there. Let, I, let me tell you what I mean. Never mind the Fields thing. You're sitting there, you have Mike Tomlin, mm -hmm. Super Bowl winning coach, yep. who's, ta who's just basically made a huge investment in Russell. It's not a huge financially, but this is the next chapter of his career. Yeah. Two tables over, you got Sean Payton, Super Bowl winning coach, who just is pained to not coach Russell Wilson anymore, who was asked, like, <laughs> was it tough when that cap hit to get rid of Russell? He goes, no, like, not at all. Like, he point. could not want to coach him any less. And this is like, a made guy. Another made guy, not some mm. fly-by-nighter new guy, says, I want this guy. And it's like, don't you want the two of them to get together and I be like, like that. what's your deal? No, what's your? why do you not want to coach him? Why do you want to coach him? That's what's going on in the same room. It's mm. unbelievable. And in the meantime... A lot of questions about a backup quarterback to Mike Tomlin. It's, it's almost you want to be like, uh, hey, Coach, what week do you expect Justin Fields to take over as starter? Like, <laughs> is it five? I have it at 4.5. Over Jason or under? Called it. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of talk about a backup quarterback, and this is Mike Tomlin's world now. The Steelers are just like the model of, of, of solidity and consistency. It's, it's this quarterback. It's this formula. And now it's like all up in the air, and there's, there's quarterback controversies, and there's a little bit of – chaos almost it's mm. unstealer like so i think this is not the usual owners meeting for mike tomlin like i don't want to call him out too much but there was definitely some perspiration going on i don't know if it's a little <laughs> bit more difficult for him to just say you know bend this and bend that <laughs> at the same time like it's just it's it seems like a different type of uh formula for the steelers right now chris they're yeah, usually the I ones mean, who know exactly what they're doing now there's yeah. some confusion i i kind of i love it though right i mean you have a guy like justin fields who hasn't really had that opportunity to learn from a veteran quarterback like Russ. I mean, you said it, right? He watched Russ as, as he was coming into yep. the league. He's mm -hmm. modeled some of his game after some of this stuff. So is it Russell Wilson's team in the beginning of the season? Probably. But is Justin Fields going to benefit from being in the same room with Russell and learning from him? I think so. And do we think that Justin Fields is going to come in at some point in the season? Yeah, I mm -hmm. absolutely think that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the potential of this kid, I don't think we've really seen it, mm -hmm. right? And I think that he's going to have the ability to kind of grow a little bit in Pittsburgh and become the quarterback that we've all expected him Interesting. to become. What if Justin Fields is lights out in the preseason? Does it matter? What if, what if throughout training camp, and then, you know, I know we pick apart every little pass in these preseason games that don't technically count. What if Justin Fields is lights out? Mm -hmm. And there's this sentiment that may be in the back of someone's head that this guy gives us the best chance. Is this a scenario that you can't, like there's no scenario that Russell Wilson can't be the starter week one? No, I think for them, you brought two guys in and you mentioned the finances where there is no paid guy that's coming in as like, you're our guy. Both of these guys are coming in new to the team. So I think they're going to sure. start out with Russ as the guy you would assume as a veteran, he's going to be able to pick up Arthur Smith's office and possibly be able to operate and manage it in a better way as a veteran. So you would assume that he goes out there and who knows, maybe Russ shows up in a preseason and we're like, oh my goodness, this is the Russ that we saw yeah, in yeah. Seattle. And maybe he's just 
unbelievable. It's so hard to tell. You guys remember, Kyle, we talked about it last year in the preseason. Pittsburgh was unbelievable. Pickett was out there. George Pickens, they were putting up points in it. And it was like, this team's going to be the real deal. And they barely could score any points once the season started. But I don't, I don't think, I think if Fields is unbelievable in the preseason, I don't think that Tomlin and the Steelers would be afraid to say, you know what? We're rolling with Fields. Like, look, we're, you guys are looking at it. We're looking at it. He's outperformed him. But I think it's going to take that. He's going to have to be unbelievable in the preseason to do that. Well, I just didn't know if it then created a weird situation with Russ. You know Definitely. what I mean? Because, again, yeah. we, don't, we don't know what, do you think, what we're getting out of Russ. I mean, I think it's also how does the, the rest of the team respond, right? How, how is Justin in the huddle with all of these guys and the guys that he's going to be on the mm -hmm. field? Are they responding more to Russ or are they responding more to Justin, right? So I think the leadership that both of them are going to have to come in and kind of give to the rest of the team, it's be crazy. you know, like that's going to be a, a competition within itself. Both mm -hmm. of these guys are going to come in. They're both going to be wanting that starting yeah, job. So true, man. how do they it's handle true. dealing with the rest of the team and, and just that almost off the field type of stuff, right? So, you know, that could create more of this controversy. And like you said, I mean, if Justin goes out and plays lights out, I mean, yeah. now it's just a, it's a conversation that the Steelers are going to have to have. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of true quarterback battles in the preseason. There's just not, you know, you usually know who your starter is, like sure. hands down. And so for training camp purposes and for our purposes, right, it's one of those juicy storylines that oh it's- Oh my God. Also, to watch in that Fields preseason. is a head taller. He's significantly faster. He's way younger. There's some mercurial personalities in that Steelers offense. Like, I don't know what the what the gel factor is yep. with Russ yeah. versus yep. Fields, who's way closer to their age. Yep. Like, it may be something. Like, I know Russ has got skins on the wall and everything that Fields doesn't. Fields has a lot to prove. He's way younger. Like, this, that could be something in the preseason.